So this time we will be testing the AS500 CPU cooler from Deepcool. This is a single tower air cooler that comes with a 140mm super silent fan, a 5 heat pipe design, and addressable RGB lighting. Starting from the cooler itself, it uses a nickel-plated solid copper base for optimal contact with the CPU, having 5 6mm heat pipes running through and a high fin density for better cooling performance. The AS500 has a slim profile of 48mm for better RAM compatibility and comes with one pre-installed fan, but there is also a plus version of this where it comes with two 140mm fans. This fan is a low noise 140mm PWM fan, rated from 500 to 1200 RPM with a 70.81 CFM of airflow. On the corners of the fan case, it has rubber pads, which help with vibration and noise, and it is held by two steel brackets, where you could easily adjust the height. Two extra brackets are also included in the package, so you can anytime install one more fan on the cooler. On top of all that, you get an RGB cover plate which you can connect either to the included RGB controller or to a 3-pin ARGB connector on your motherboard, as it is compatible with all famous RGB software and comes also with an adapter cable for even better compatibility. The Deepcool AS500 supports a big variety of Intel and AMD sockets and the installation is fairly easy and won't take more than a couple of minutes. One thing I need to mention is that on AM4 platforms, I have faced often the problem where some CPU coolers tend to look upwards or downwards, but here the cooler will be sitting towards the exhaust fan, which allows a much better airflow and a better performance of the cooler. Now let's see how it performs. For this test, we will use the Ryzen 5 3600 XT running at 4.50 GHz all-core overclock, and we will compare the AS500 against the Corsair H100i Pro XT AIO water cooler in an open case, running both at 100% speed, using the same thermal paste, and having the exact same room temperature. Running Cinebench R20 on loop for 20 minutes, we see that the AS500 managed to keep the temps a bit lower, with a max of exactly 80 degrees Celsius, where the H100 was 1.9 degrees higher. Running an SSE stress test, we see again that the AS500 manages to keep the temperatures a bit lower than the H100, at 84.8 degrees Celsius against 86.5 degrees. Now, in gaming scenarios where the CPU load is not at 100% all the time, we see almost the same temperatures. But I should mention that the AS500 was during all tests much, much quieter, as it had only one fan spinning, against the water cooler which had two fans and a pump. I was really impressed that even at 1200 RPM, it was so quiet that I had to double check if it was spinning at max speed. To sum up, my point wasn't to show you that air coolers are better than AIO coolers or the opposite. What I want to show you here is that this particular air cooler performs so well that it can be as good as a 240mm AIO liquid cooler, being cheaper and much quieter at the same time. Not to mention that it can handle some overclocking without any issue as well. Please tell me what you think about that in the comments below. Would you prefer an air cooler or liquid cooler and why? I will leave a link to the product in the description of the video, so if you're interested, you can check it out. And as always, feel free to like and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.